Night Readers. Night Readers is a great program that we all love to do here at St. Joe's. It has been a tradition for the last seven years, and we have read many wonderful books. This year's book is Peter Pan. We hope you have been enjoying the book and Night Readers. Thank you. Beginning with this month's upcoming events. This month's upcoming events were March 1st is the end of the second trimester, March 6th is Ash Wednesday. March 15th and 18th is the snow makeup days. March 15th is the roller skating party at Rollerway. And March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. March 19th is 9 a.m. Mass and Holy Day Recess. And March 25th through the 29th is COGAT testing for third and fifth grades. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is a thrilling book that will leave you in amazement. Harry Potter is an ordinary boy, or so he thought. It all starts out when he finds out he's a wizard and is accepted at Hogwarts, a school for witchcraft and wizardry. The wizarding world is an amazing place where anything can happen. Find out what, advent what adventures Harry has in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This month's interview is Mrs. Eck. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, okay? Sure. Where is your hometown? My hometown is Columbia, just on the other side of the bridge. <laughs> Um, your favorite food? Oh, that's a tough one because I love so much. But I always said if I had one more meal to have on the earth, it would be a loaded baked potato. Everything on it, broccoli, jelly, cheese, sour cream, you name it. Oh, uh, your favorite memory in your childhood or adult? Oh, I have a lot of memories, you must know, huh? <laughs> a lot of years have gone by. My favorite memory, well, Always, as a mom, you always say, you know, having your babies is always a really important memory. So having those, but probably one of my greatest memories, or gifts I call it, is I had the opportunity to teach all four of my kids in first grade. So what a fun thing for a mom to be able to do, and then as a teacher, to see them as kind of different people. Because students aren't always exactly the same in school as they are out of school. So you had to had had to go to had you had to go or live in this place, where would you go? Another place to go or live. I love to go and visit Britain and just kind of walk all around that old country and see all of the really fascinating old buildings and things. What is the downside of teaching? Like what is the hard work of teaching? The hard work of teaching. People think that teachers work only a few months out of the year, the same that the kids are in school, but that's really not true. Teachers actually work a lot harder over the summer sometimes than they do actually during the school year because there's a lot of prep work and a lot of learning and things that go on over the summer for teachers. So it's the out of school stuff that is kind of the downside because there's a lot more work that goes on behind the scenes than in front of the classroom. Well, thank you for letting us interview you today. Well, that it was my pleasure. Come back anytime. I'm happy to share any words of wisdom I might think I have. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rosie, did you hear about the circus fire? No, what happened? It was intense. <laughs> this month's birthdays were Jacob Tedesco, James Lewis, Ashton Hardy, Jaya Patel, Sophia Freeman, Darren Ezebe, McKenna Bradley, Reed Hess, and o o Ellis Oas. Thank you. The religious quote this month is, I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now to Bailey for the scoop. This month's SJY scoop is March Madness. March Madness is an event that is all about the national sport of basketball, which also is also my favorite sport. From the second week of March to the first week of April, NCAA men's and women's basketball tournament will be going on. These tournaments are a single elimination, which means championship team has to win at least six games in a row to win the title. Hi, I'm Rosie, and I was just down today because I supported Catholic Schools Week in a mass, and that is what this, this month's submission is about. This is Erin Hill from 5A, and she won the school submissions. What's your drawing about? My drawing is about the cookie challenge that Mr. Palenki, Ms. Skato, and Ms. Stoff did in the Battle of the Building. Oh, it's very nice. Thank you. Huh. The new question is, write about your favorite family tradition on St. Patrick's Day. Make sure to submit your writing to Mrs. Stoff's mailbox by April 1st, and you can be on the broadcast just like Erin. 